What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hermit Pack on the Hermitcraft server. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, guys, I've been pretty much on a big adventure recently. I logged on the server. Jassassin was on. He was asking me uh, if I found any green slimes. And I was like, you know, I think I have. And I looked at my, my inventory, my grid back there, the digital storage. I didn't see any green slime balls. But then I remembered that I had discovered that there was a swamp to the south of the base, just right over here. So I went over to the swamp during the nighttime, and sure enough, eventually I found one little, one little slime spawn over there. So I was like, cool, yeah. And I grabbed it, and I put it into a soul vial, and I was going to do some stuff, like I was going to make a uh, powered spawner. I have the powered spawner made, <laughs> and then the soul vial, we have one with the slime in it. But yeah, the problem is I don't have a broken spawner to put the the soul vial in. You have to put the broken sp spawner on the anvil with the soul vial, and then you set the type, and then you can put the broken spawner with the powered spawner to actually make the, the spawner block, right? So I was on an adventure <laughs> looking for a spawner. Uh, I went, let's, let's go back to the map real quick. Oh, you know what? Let's get into the clear view sky clear path of the sky i meant uh so where did i go i went somewhere maybe it doesn't even show up no no no. i went to right over here so there is a uh what is this thing called i can't even extreme hills yeah i dug down i was looking at the map uh i ended up finding an abandoned mine shaft and i explored that whole thing still didn't find a spawner <laughs> you would think that you'd find one of the cave spider spawners in one of those yeah, I explored a long way in there. I think I uncovered all of it. Still didn't find one. So now I'm kind of stuck. Like, I want to get a spawner going, but I don't have any way to get the broken spawners. <sighs> Just as it told me that there was a thing called an ender something or other, ender spawner finder thing. It looks like an ender pearl. Uh, now I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> it's called ender something. Uh, is it this right here? Ah, Ender Dungeon Finder. Right. Seeks or searches out nearest spawner. So apparently these things are supposed to work just like Eyes of Ender. Like they were finding the end portal. But these will find dungeons. So that seems like something that I would like to do. So these are not super expensive. They're just another wort, an Ender Pearl, and Moss Stone. Mossy Stone we can make with Cobblestone Vines. When I was over in... The swamp area, I did collect some vines with some shears. So now we have some, uh, grab some cobblestone. We're going to go and try these out. I haven't tested these yet. So cobblestone and vine. Like so. So there's some mossy stone. Sure. Six of those. And we want to make, uh, I lost it again. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. The problem is they're not green and I'm not looking for something that's kind of like a purple color. All right. So there's like 12. How 18, 24. Okay, so there's 24 of these. So I don't know if these work just like the Eyes of Ender where you throw them and they sometimes have a chance to explode or what. Um, you know another thing we should get? Hold on. Before we use these, there's another item from Reliquary that I wanted to make. The Coin of Fortune. We've used this before in the past, but it's been a long time. Uh, so the Coin of Fortune, you need the Nebulous Heart that comes from Enderman. I believe we have one of those. Gold Nugget, Slime Pearl... Um, which I have found from a green slime and then a bat wing, uh, which you just get from bats. So I think we have everything ready. I thought we had bat wings. Oh, you know what? That's a different type of wing. Huh? So how do you get the bat wing? I thought we had these. No, they just drop off bats, I guess. Weird. 10% chance. Okay. So I need to go find some bats and kill those. All right, so I thought we had the wings. We have the wrong one. Anyway, the coin of fortune is like a magnet. I really like to have a magnet, so we'll probably be looking at making one of those here pretty soon. So anyway, let's go ahead and throw one of those. I'm not sure what just happened. It made a hissing sound. Does it do that because there isn't one nearby? Let's try again. It's not doing anything except making a hissing sound so there might not be a dungeon nearby maybe that's why oh it did something i didn't see where it went okay uh how do i know <laughs> where these things go it's not going just straight down is it no maybe it is oh no i think it went over this way 
Ah, so it is going over this way. So do we have like a bunch of these on the ground now? Like what's the deal? Yeah, I need to get myself some kind of visibility potion for the ocean. Yeah, this isn't going to work too well. Okay, well, let me go ahead and get like some, uh, I guess, water breathing potions or night vision potions. We'll take a look underneath the water there. See what's going on. Maybe I'll toss one underground or under the water and see which way that's going. Huh, it's interesting. All right, so here's a potion of night vision. Cool. I don't know where we just were a minute ago, where those things went. <laughs> Probably just lost those pearls for good. I don't even know if you can get them, like if you can pick them back up. So we threw one. It's like it's going straight down or something. I can't really tell where these things are going. So they're going over this way. I can see the trail. Yeah, these things are really different. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, definitely took us on the path over this way. Straight down from here. Okay. Well, we're going to go straight down. We're going to see if this thing works. If there's a spawner right here, that'd be really, really nice. Go ahead and break out a few blocks and then we will place the blocks above us. So we are not going to drown. All right, let's dig down. You know, the one thing you're not supposed to do in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, if there is a spawner here, that's going to be really, really nice, but I didn't quite see where these pearls were going and maybe it's better if you do it higher up. Okay. This is going to be bad. <laughs> what is this thing? An ashen? Okay. Well, it's dead. An invisible zombie, a dweller. What is this thing? Another dweller. I don't know if I've seen those guys before. Okay. We good. I'm forgetting that we have night vision and this is all pitch black. You know what? Here's a, one of these things. I'm going to take this. All right. Let's try throwing the pearl. Is it still going like straight down? Maybe it is. Oh, there's this. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not so perfect. Gonna die. Need to go. Okay, well that does work. Uh, we almost died testing it out, but uh, arrow of splashing blindness. Interesting. Oh, whoops, I swapped my tool. Okay, so we did find a spawner, so that it does work. Um, these are pretty nice, I do like that. Please don't blow up. Okay, I think I got rid of the creeper. So is that a zombie spawner? Is that why there's so many zombies? It might be. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, it's skeleton spawner. Okay. Well, I broke it. I'm about to die. Please don't kill me. I'm dead. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, well, that's fine. That's fine. We know where we died, right? Uh, we have an extra pair of boots and those things should be despawned by the time we get back there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we got, yeah, our slime boots. We don't have our teleportation wand. Oh, this is some other stuff that I did find in the abandoned mine shafts, by the way, we got a moving wand an inventory upgrade cake and an ender bomb too. I have no idea what these things are, but I put them aside cause I want to check those out a little bit later. Uh, anyway, let's put our boots on so we don't die apparently these steel leggings have soul bound not sure why those are on me whoops wonder if those dropped off a monster and because they're in my inventory soul bound they got put on my leg slot not sure how that works um okay so we're gonna need like a pickaxe <laughs> we don't have a pickaxe we're gonna need a bunch of stuff yeah all of my things are in that grave and we're gonna have to get that back Okay, well, let me get prepared real quick to try and get back over there, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I found my grave, right? <laughs> so, yeah, experience in here. We still got a bunch of zombies and stuff, but I think we should be okay. We got rid of the spawner, and that was, like, the uh, the worst part of this, right? I hope. Yeah, I ended up making myself a diamond sword because I wanted something that had a little bit of extra oomph to it instead of, like, an iron sword, but I think we're fine. Uh, all right, so this is the chest, an emerald hoe, 
Zombie Hearts, Iridium Shards, Golden Apple. All right, and what's in this other one? Some Ender Pearls, a Pink Rune. Not I, not sure what that is. Another Moving Wand. Okay. I mean that's decent stuff. Let's try, let's try and get our stuff back. Okay, I got more stuff than what I can carry for some reason. Uh, not really sure why I have all of this stuff on me. Let's just kind of get the stuff that's more important. I think I just threw down my shovel. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, so much stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I want that shovel back. Let's make sure we get that. And then, yeah, armor. Okay, well, let me go ahead and try and get re-equipped here, and we will be back, guys. So what's kind of interesting about the spawner is I was earlier digging a hole or I guess a tunnel from my base. Yeah, that's our branch mine over here. I was digging it out here into the ocean area, trying to see if I could see on the map where there were dungeons and stuff. And even though, uh, yeah, that spawner was here and we were fairly close, only about 15 blocks away, still didn't even see that the spawner was here. So that is crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dig over to our tunnel. Oh, there we go. Ding on our hammer. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to dig over to the tunnel here. Like I said, it's only about 15 blocks away, and that'll be a fast access back to our base. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how we're going to get back. Pretty, pretty easy. There we go. And then back up. Yeah, let me up here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we got everything back. Uh, we did end up getting our broken spawner, which is great. So we should be able to combine that, like I said, uh, with the soul vial for the slime so we could have a skeleton spawner for right now but i don't really know if we need one should be easy enough for us to make a skeleton spawner later if we wanted to do that um this and this is that not what you do soul vial plus a broken spawner with the slime it says an x am i doing that wrong or no, I am doing that wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute since I've done this. We need the soul forge, don't we? The soul something, what is it called? Soul binder. So we have to make yet another machine, the soul binder. That's where you combine the broken spawner plus the soul vial together. And then you do the broken spawner plus the powered spawner on the anvil. Cool. Anyway, let me go ahead and make that machine up real quick. I think we should have all the required stuff. Uh, let's just see. We don't have a skeleton skull or an enderman head. Really? Skull. Yeah, apparently we don't. Okay, well, there's more to this than we, we have right now. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and farm some monsters and get the skulls. But I think we should be able to do that. We do have looting three on our sword. Uh, so, yeah, just time to go fight some monsters. All right, guys. Well, here we are in the end. We haven't been here since uh, a little while ago when we killed the dragon a couple episodes ago. Anyway, uh, yeah, we need to get ourselves an Enderman head. So best place to get that probably from an Enderman in the end. Okay, so things to know about these Endermen. Uh, in this mod pack, we have the Quark mod and the Quark mod will make it so if the Enderman cannot reach you, like if you're in a too high covering where they can't attack you, they will warp you outside of the spot. So it's probably not the best idea, or at least don't rely on this. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. And yep, yeah, see, you just got warped. <sighs> it's a little scary, but we got a decent amount of armor on, so it's not so bad. Why is that so loud? Uh, let me go ahead and turn the sounds down. <laughs> also, creatures. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, back to game. So I think if we take on one at a time, we should be okay. I did put on the sharpest ist treat on here so our iron sword can do 16.02 attack damage so i think two hits is enough get him okay well that's still kind of scary uh so i'm gonna have to keep doing this until we do get an enderman head um yeah i wish there was a better way there might be an easier way to farm these guys but this is what we're gonna do so get wrecked whoa don't wreck me just get wrecked <laughs> okay we got some ender pearls, four ender pearls, no head. Okay, well, I'm going to keep at this. Uh, hopefully, we'll get one in a decent amount of time. Yep, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, that wasn't so bad. I ended up getting quite a bit of ender pearls. Apparently, ender pearls stacked to 64 in this mod pack. Or was that a change in vanilla in 1.10? I don't remember. Anyway, we got a decent amount of ender pearls. I ended up getting nine enderman head. It seemed like um, 
the first strategy I was doing is I like hit them and then I'd back away and kind of like hit them so they weren't touching me. It seems like a really bad strategy. It seemed like the best way to do it was to run up to them, smack them, do the critical hit, and just keep spam attacking them. Like they'll hit you once, but by the time you smack them a few times, they're done, so they can only get one hit in. They're usually only always going to get one hit in anyway. So that's the method I went. It seemed pretty safe. I just had to keep eating my uh, my toast in order to regain my health. We got a bunch of the solidified experience. I've never tried this stuff before. If I right click. Okay. So that is just experience. All right, cool. So I've never tried that before. We have collected a bit of it. So that's kind of interesting to know. Uh, I also got this dimlet parcel. It says a present for you. Use it well, right click to get the gifts. So we got a uh, basic uh, energy module, a feature type controller and a dimlet control circuit rarity four. cool. All right, well, I don't know how you get dimlets in this pack, like the unknown dimlets. Maybe that's the only way and you have to construct your very first ones or something. Hmm, I don't know. We got a bunch of these uh, nebulous hearts. I believe those give you pearls too, but these are also used for other things. Let's check out the uses for those. So we can do a cauldron. We can do this ender staff, which might be cool. Uh, what was that dagger thing? Magic bean? Not sure. Is that a dagger that prevents endermen from teleporting or something? It might be. Uh, Enderman Charm Fragment. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Reliquary that I used to know about or that might be new. Uh, yeah, it's also used for the Coin of Fortune. We still have to get that Batwing, so that might be something i work on here pretty soon to try and get that. Uh, Empty Void Tear. Yeah, there's lots of interesting things that those can be used for. So we'll go ahead and hold on to that and not turn those into the pearls. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're still in the process of making the Soul Binder. I should be able to quickly make all of this stuff now. Uh, we were missing the skeleton head and the enderman head. Turns out we had some skeleton heads in my golden bag of holding, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, it looks looks like we had just one anyway. Uh, so we have the soul binder now, so we should be able to do the soul binder. Plus the soul vial. We want not the butterfly. We want the slime. Slime, yep. And then broken. Actually, we search for spawner. I need both of these. What is this? Spawner shards. Hmm. Okay, so we have the broken spawner there, soul vial here, uh, eight levels of experience. Go ahead and do that. Apparently this thing makes sounds now and the thing turns. That's really awesome. All right, well, this is going to take a minute for this to happen. So let's, let's wait for that to happen or I could throw down torch arena or something like that. We'll be right back guys. All right, well, the machine finally finished up. So now we have our broken spawner with the slime in it and our empty soul vial once again. Uh, we already have the power spawner on us, so we should be able to do this and that. That costs 16 levels. Unfortunately, we do not have 16, but we do have that uh, solidified experience. Yeah, so we should be able to get it this way, right? I just spam right click a few times, 4 to 15, 16. There it is. Nice. Okay, so then that, there we go. Powered spawner, slime. Awesome. So I think we're also going to want to get like a double, a double layered capacitor. So we need like two of these single ones, one, two, and one of these nice. Okay. So that'll allow it to spawn just a little bit faster. We could go all the way up to octatic capacitor. I don't know if we have all the materials ready to do that. By the way, I did use the torturinos. It does seem to work on this thing. Unfortunately, it draws a lot of power, more power than what we were making. Yeah. So anyway, I had to like not use those. <laughs> Uh, so this powered spawner, I think we're going to go ahead and stick this over here by our farm for right now. Since it's about the only place where we have a decent amount of power. Uh, so we'll go ahead and stick that here. That should be getting power. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Spawn. Doesn't seem to be getting any power, right? These. Oh, are these all out of power? Oh. Well, how did that happen? Oh, you know what? Okay, I know how that happened. Yeah, remember I said this thing has a trickle charge and like it uses a little bit of power all the time, even at idle? Yeah, we never really set this thing up to be completely 100% automatic, did we? Okay, well, I can harvest some of this, uh, throw that in the crusher. That should have some power left over to crush this to make some biofuel, which should start kicking on our bioreactors. I think we have some seeds in here too that we can use as well. But anyway, that should start providing this power. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it should probably turn this thing off. Uh, active with signal, that should be fine. 
So all the extra power coming over here. Yeah, where well, we got some power. I'm, it says 800 RF per tick. If I put this in here, does that change that? Oh, 4,000. Oh, yeah. So this is going to take a while before this actually is able to spawn. Wow, this is, takes a lot more power than I thought it did. I thought these reactors or these um, the bio generators were going to be enough. Maybe it would be if all three of them had the biofuel in there. Okay, well, uh, let me go ahead and try and get some extra biofuel happening here. <laughs> we'll see if we can get these to spawn. Ideally, I would like to get a few more of those slime crystals or whatever the slime things are. Uh, these, the slime pearls for Jassassin, since he was looking for some of those earlier. So we'll go ahead and let these things spawn in. I will kill a few of them. Hopefully get some green slime balls, get some of those slime pearls, and we'll be back, guys. Yeah, guys, so this spawner works pretty good. Um, a little too well, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, we are getting, like, the really big, big slimes, and they do a lot of damage. In fact, they broke my pants armor that I had earlier, and it seems like they're making weird sounds. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, or maybe there's something else around here that's making sounds, but... Uh, anyway... <laughs> With looting three, we're getting quite a few of the of the slime balls and the slime pellets. What are they, what are they called? The slime pearls. So yeah, we're getting plenty of those. We're getting a lot of these guys around here from I think that's open blocks or random things. I guess random things. These spirits they kind of float around for a little while, then they just end up dying. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> until we get a proper area for killing off slimes, I think we might be done. Although I kind of want to get thirty two of those. Uh, anyway, so yeah, those little spirit guys, those are killing themselves. So I would say this is pretty much a success. I did end up having to put down a Torturino down here. Our power supply is just not good enough. Uh, the power spawner wants 400 RF per tick. Yeah. And while we're making that right now, it's just going really slow. So if I put in the upgrade, then it requires 4,000 RF per tick. It's just not good. Uh, so I thought our power supply was going to be pretty good the way it is right now. Uh, apparently I was wrong, so <laughs> we're gonna have to look at better power supply methods in the future. Um, I know Mechanism has like a bunch of windmills. I'm not really sure how much power those produce. Uh, there's also the successor to big reactors, and I can't remember what that's called. Can we just look for a reactor in here? Hmm. I can't remember the name of that mod. There's a mod that's similar to big reactors, if I spelled it right. Uh, extreme reactors so we do have extreme reactors in here which is probably a little bit later game than where we are right now we might start jumping into mechanism looking at a little bit more of the mechanism power generation there's also uh there's gas turbines besides these bio generators there's those windmills i think there's water mills there's a few other methods anyway that we'll probably have to take a look at <laughs> in order to get some decent power going i really don't want to rely on torturinos in order to make power, it seems just a little too overpowered that you can stick that next to a generator or something and it starts producing, you know, four times the amount of power that it normally would be because it's going four times faster or whatever, the 400%. Anyway, uh, I think the next step is I'm going to take some of these things over to just Sasson's spawn house, write a sign or put a little book or something. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and gift those to him since he was looking for these earlier. All right, guys, so here we are at the spawn of the server. I see that we got some windmills nearby. These are the things that I was kind of talking about just a little bit ago. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is that they generate some noise. What is it that they make here? They make, I guess, 384 RF per tick? That's not bad. And that's free power, right? So you make them, and they just generate that power all the time. They make more power the higher up in the Y axis they are, I believe. Uh, we might look at making some of those later. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we definitely got to figure out something <laughs> for our power supply. That's for sure. So anyway, this is just Assassin's kind of somewhat sort of modern house, right? So yeah, uh, I think he built this since the last time we took a look at my spawn house. Like he had a house here and then he redid it anyway. So that's my spawn house. I did kind of go back here and I filled in a little bit more of the glass and I did dig a basement i believe yeah it started doing some stuff down here but i never got like really far with it so we got staircase down staircase up but there's like no furnishings in this house so that's still something i'm working on for the future but anyway um yeah i set a chest inside just assassin spawn house here uh just left it right here uh, i've 
Gave him 16 slime pearls and a bunch more of these slime balls just to kind of fill up the chest a little bit more. And we left him a book. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. So this says, Dear Jassassin, you mentioned that you were in need of green slimes for slime pearls. I have secured a source of these pearls for you. Since we never agreed on a fee for my time and effort with collection of these, I'm going to suggest a very reasonable fee of only 16 diamonds in return. Please deliver to my spawn house within seven days of receipt of slime pearls. Your bestest est friend, Hypno. P.S. If you feel that 16 diamonds is too steep of a price, then I will accept whatever you feel these are worth, Mr. Cheapskate. <laughs> so, yeah, he has the option of just giving me whatever he feels that they're worth. I'm asking for 16 diamonds, which is probably a little bit too much, but, you know, we never agreed on a fee, so that's what the price is, right? I did see that he has a butterfly hanging out back here. I'm not sure how a butterfly got inside of this house unless he like used a soul vial or something and put it in here himself. Oh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he has moved out of his base. I think he said that he was moving to a jungle somewhere. So I don't know. I'll have to go check out his new base at some point in the future. But anyway, uh, we left him the book. We left him the stuff. I'll have to send him a note uh, through our chat online or whatever so he knows to uh, check that out. But yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, guys, it looks like we have reached the end of today's episode. There's not a lot of time left to do other things for today. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool that we finally were able to get ourselves a spawner. Trying to use those, what is it, the Ender Dungeon Finder pearls? Yeah, I think if I had flight, some kind of way to hover in air, those would have been way easier to try and use. Uh, but since I'm like swimming in the water and trying to shoot one, it's hard to tell where they go. Anyway, we should probably look at getting ourselves an angel ring or something like that in the future from Extra Utilities too. I think that might be a fun thing to do. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>